My name is Dr. Yosef Nasseri. I'm a colorectal surgeon in Los Angeles, affiliated with Cedar sinai Hospital. Today's case is one of a 43-year-old male who's had complicated diverticulitis in the past. He's here for robotic sigmoid colon resection. The additive part to this case is the placement of ureteral stents that are infused with endocyanide green dye to facilitate identification of the ureter during surgery. I think you're going to enjoy this case. Please tune in. So I like to access the abdomen through Palmer's palm in the left subcostal region using various needle. So this case is for a recurrent sigmoid diverticulitis. So now I'm going to mark out my anticipated robotic and laparoscopic trocars. First I feel for the xiphoid, which is right about here. Then I march down about five centimeters and two centimeters over. And I mark that as one of my potential trocars. My 12th trocar, which is gonna be the trocar through which I'll introduce the stapler and also the vessel sealer is in the right lower quadrant, a few couple centimeters above the iliac crest. Then I like to kind of stay outside laterally as far as, as much as possible. My assist trocar is going to be lateral and in between my two right-sided robotic trocars. Okay, so these are anticipated trocar placement, a 12 millimeter robotic trocar in the right lower quadrant. Then eight millimeter robotic trocar on the right side of the abdomen, sub region, and left subcostal region. The laparoscopic assist port is going to be very lateral under in the right lower quadrant. I make an eight millimeter horizontal incision, but I am going to enter first with the five millimeter laparoscopic trocar first. I like to enter in OptiView fashion using the five millimeter laparoscopic trocar. First, I look at the uh, various needle. It looked like it did not harm anything on its way in. I inspect the stomach, looks nicely decompressed. The liver looks nice and healthy on both sides, perfect. 